it's uh, seven o'clock at night and we're just getting to the boat. Uh, just getting untied and ready to go. Last weekend of November, cruising this time of year presents many challenges. Short days and even shorter weather windows often mean traveling at night. Lots of heavy rain means fresh debris to watch out for, landslides and flooding. We traveled 35 and a half nautical miles to Watson Cove. We anchored here at 2 a.m. last night, or this morning, I guess. Pretty tired. We left after work at about 7 o'clock last night. But pretty amazing to wake up here. This is the view from our anchorage. Uh, 
snow covered mountains. And the waterfalls. There's waterfalls all around us. We went out for a rip in the dinghy to explore the anchorage. We went to check out Lacey Falls, which was just around the corner from our anchorage at Watson Cove. We tried to make it farther, but the current was too strong. Unable to make it any farther, we gave up and decided to explore the surrounding area.
we made our way back to Watson Cove just as it started to rain. Back on Esperanza, I set up this tarp so we can move in and out without letting rain inside. We ate lunch and did a little more exploring around Watson Cove. The largest waterfall didn't fall directly into the cove, so we hiked up to check it out. I got on this log for a closer look. We found a trail on the opposite side of the cove from the waterfall that led us to a large old growth cedar tree. Back on Esperanza, we took in the scenery one last time before it got dark, then prepared for our journey home the next day. Sunday morning we decided to take the scenic route. We traveled 50 nautical miles taking Tribune Channel around Guilford Island to Night Inlet which brought us to Blackfish Sound.
I went down below to make dinner and when I came back it was dark. We were back in Port McNeil and tied up to the dock at 7 o'clock Sunday night.